All right, so I'm going to talk about how I made $15,000 online in 72 hours. And it has absolutely nothing to do with how I made money, but more to do with why I had to make that money. I want to talk about something um, which is which is another story I want to talk about how I made my first uh, $15,000. I forgot the exact number. It was more than $15,000, but I uh, made that in 72 hours. The number one job of an entrepreneur is one, sales and marketing. So majority of the time, you know, 95, 99% of all business, if you're the owner, right, of the company, you better be selling, you better be marketing, right? I've been selling stuff online since 2008. The only reason why I made that, I'm a firm believer, is because I had a need to make that. Now, why did I have a need to make that? Is because my real estate company at that time was bleeding money, all right? It was absolutely bleeding money, all right? To a point where I could not even pay myself. Uh, uh, I could not even pay myself. All right, so for anyone who has ran a company before, you go through cash flow challenges, right? As as you look at the balance sheet and you're just like, oh crap, right? And everything in the numbers number side of your business is basically pointing to, oh my gosh, you know, like what the beep are you doing? Kind of, you know, like numbers when you look at it. And, it, and it's daunting, it's stressful, and it and it really tests you as an uh, as an entrepreneur on how strong you really are and those folks that have lived through that and, and actually you know walked out the other side and survived that's why i give mad respect to these people because because it, it is tough right so so i was going through the challenges of that right as our company was growing we had literally like no money in the bank okay we did have in terms of paper asset like equity money okay um so it wasn't really cash okay it was it was it was paper you know hey in in equity and houses because we're in the projects right doing custom homes you know flipping houses right so um and so again it was in property but we didn't cash the money out and we did we were doing a very very poor job of cash flow management because it was all in real estate that and we were like choked up okay and and keep in mind we ha we have a overhead where predominantly a lot of our overhead was what paying investors on what they call like hard money loans okay. i hit up my buddy right his name is william at that time i said dude man i need a and he's been making money online okay for years and i was doing a little bit of internet stuff right dabbling with something called like affiliate marketing right so i had a cash buyer list okay uh for my real estate business where where i was huge on databasing and building a database so my my database was growing every single month right so I had a couple thousand people on there and I would send out occasional offers to this right like certain tools I was using it became really really tough in the business in terms of cash flow okay it wasn't coming in fast enough I hit him up and I said dude man what's the fastest way I can make uh, I was just like I can make like 10 to uh, 5 to 10 grand he says sell a course and I says dude I don't have time to make a course <laughs> uh, I need to make five to ten grand now you know like last week you know and because I need to make payroll right and then and then he was just like and then he was just like no I didn't say I didn't tell you to, to tell you to make it make a course I told you to sell the course and he, I was like what do you mean and then this is when he broke down something called the boot camp model right where 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 he said, hey, you get people into a webinar, and then on the webinar, you actually sell them on a four-week boot camp, and uh, uh, you collect the money up front. And, and then from there, you collect the money, and you see if, if uh, one, they want you to actually do the class. Now, obviously, if they want to do the class, then, then you have the ability to sell them about the class, and then you collect the money, and at least you got the money up front now. And then at least you're getting paid to actually build it. And I was just like, okay. And I was just like, so what do you think I should sell it for? And then he, and then he was like, well, I'll tell you some couple models that we just did, and the price point that did really well. And he was just like, the price point that did really well was 197 for a, a four week boot camp. I was like, for real, 197 bucks, 200 four weeks. You think you can sell it? He's, uh, he's all like, yeah, it will, yeah, people will buy it. The question is, what do you want to, what do you want to actually, what do you know that you can people that you can teach people on? You know, that's what he asked. And I was just like, uh, real estate, how to invest? You know this stuff, man? He's all like, yeah, but it needs to be a special hook so we can get people there. You got to get people excited and get them there. And I was just like, well, well, you know, hey, well, um, I, I think I told him like in last November and at that time it was like in February, right? So yeah, we did like $40,000 selling, uh, selling properties to uh, hedge funds. And he was like, oh, okay, that's a good hook. He's all like, hedge funds are a good hook. So we did some little, um, 
Uh, we did some little, uh, uh, you know, kind of brain dump, right? Brainstorming kind of stuff. And we came up with a hook, which was uh, flipping houses to Wall Street. That's what we came up with. So our webinar was called Flipping Houses to Wall Street. And um, we promoted it. And we promoted to my dinky little list at that time. I think we only had like maybe like 3,000 people or something, maybe 4,000. I don't remember exact number, right? Um, I just know that we weren't at 10,000 yet, and we, I know we weren't over 5,000 lists. I think it was less than 5,000. And um, you know, luckily enough, he allowed me to use a lot of his tools that he had, right? So he had like go-to webinar um, set up, and I asked him. I said, "Dude, man, so how much am I gonna owe you?" He's like, "Hey, don't worry about it, man. Um, um, you helped me out. To, uh, 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 you helped me out a lot, and you helped my." family out and I was like for reals and he was like yeah man so whatever you make on you get to keep all of it and I was like oh shit okay cool and then and then he was like well I've never I've never I never actually done one of these webinars and pitches like don't even worry about it on that too I'll be the MC and I'll introduce you and you just do your part and I'll help you out with the Q&A and I'll help you out with even the clothes too and I was like for reals and he was like yeah man and I was like all right cool and this is where again the storyline of having good great friends and actually helping people right when people need you um, always comes back right always comes back and luckily enough he helped me out and, and I sent out the email and then I started to wait and see how many people registered we got 10 15 20 30 and then the the registration count started going up and I and I don't remember the exact exact number but I believe by the time of uh, the day of the event we had like 300 people registered for that event right so I was like oh that's cool and then I was, and then I was and I was asking him so I was just like yeah so how many people do you think is gonna show up and he was just like he was just like yeah I think usually like around half of this so you're gonna about have about 150 people in here and I was like 150 and at that time I've spoken on stage before and I remember like in my brain at, at a local uh, real estate group that I went to that had like 50 people and I was still nervous right and then I remember that image of 50 people in my head and I was just like times three and I was like it's a lot of people that you're pitching in front of and um, and I was like, okay, all right. So, so we started. And at that time, um, I asked for help from my good friend Jason uh, to help me with that, help, help me with that because we both needed some cash, right, uh, for the online stuff. Okay, so, um, so Jason was helping me out as well, and we were literally started the webinar I put the slide together we started the webinar right we didn't even have a checkout okay I'm talking I'm telling our our call to action link right was I think was like uh, um, uh, what was the call to action link was uh, flipping houses to wallstreet.com forward slash go or something like that right uh, and that link was was we just bought the domain we literally bought the domain like a couple hours before the webinar because we forgot about that because Williams all like hey man you got a call to action link and I was like what are you talking about right and we didn't have one so we just literally bought it um, and Jason was behind the scene as I'm doing the presentation okay uh, putting the actual checkout uh, checkout together all right <laughs> uh, the checkout where people can actually like put in their credit card and pay and we didn't know what we were gonna use for the checkout right because at that at that time it was a lot harder to like get like merchant accounts all right so it's not like now where you can sign up with stripe and you can get paid immediately right or like PayPal was a lot you know PayPal is a lot more lenient now okay so at that time there wasn't so so the way that we were gonna get paid was using something called Eventbrite so we ended up actually creating like an event on Eventbrite and uh, made the tickets in there um, and then we just literally took the link and did a uh, forward to the Eventbrite checkout <laughs> that's what we did or that's what Jason did okay so I'm behind the scene I'm giving great I'm trying to give my best content ever right because because the number one thing he said was don't hold anything back give your best content at the end of the day if you give your best content at least the audience is gonna be happy and not only are they gonna be happy but also at the same time uh, also at the same time they're gonna want your help and if they want your help they're gonna give you money for it and I was like okay cool you know so so I'm giving my best stuff boom tell them exactly everything that I know right like this is how I'm doing this is how I'm getting the deals this is how you negotiate with the people I'm getting the best stuff ever and we go to the close right I feel I feel my hands getting all clammy my throat got kind of choking up too but I was just like screw it I need this make this money I need to make this money right like that's what I'm thinking in my head right like I need to make this money so I go to the close and I'm talking I'm pitching and um, by this time I we go into the close and says go here take action now and enroll into the class today now let's open it up for Q&A so we go into that and uh, I didn't know how to navigate the, the there's like a navigation if anyone has used go to webinar or go to meeting right there's a navigation on the right of the screen I didn't know how to use that because I was like literally like my first time in there and Williams on there and he's and he goes like all right Jeff let's do some Q&A and he's all like first I want to congratulate uh, blah 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 and I want to congratulate blah 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 and I'm just like thinking to myself I'm just like are they really congratulating or are they making up names right like and was wondering that so again I'm thinking like I couldn't see and I was like is he making up names 
chains. And, um, <laughs> and, and, and then I didn't realize that throughout the time I was pitching, him and Jason were talking and Jason gave him kind of the login information and actually he was monitoring who was actually buying. So I didn't know. So I'm just like, at that time, I don't know how many units I sold and he kept on saying, congratulations, all right, we got questions from such and such, questions from such and such. So he's asking me questions, I'm answering, going back and forth, all right, hey, we got a couple more minutes left, in roll today, we got, you know, 15, uh, 15 spots left, 10, to, you know, 14, 13 spots, right? So we're doing kind of the scarcity stuff coming down, right? And, um, and then we go to the end and it says and that is the final spots ladies and gentlemen and uh, thank you so much for being here blah 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 and then we end it right and by this time i'm like i'm like whoa what just happened so i hit him up i was like dude man what the hell happened man and because i didn't even have the login information for like how to how to get paid and stuff like that right so i open up my inbox and there's notification it was just like purchase 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 and i was like and i was just like oh snap and um and we did at that time uh like six thousand dollars or something like that right we brought in like six thousand dollars i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh we can make some payroll on this right i was so happy and um i was like oh my gosh i'm so happy on this and then and then immediately william calls me back and then he was just like hey man he's all like i was like, and i was like what's up man we made some stuff he's like yeah he's all like you're not done yet i was like what you mean he's all like roll the webinar we're playing the videotape tomorrow and I was like, what do you mean? And he was just like, yeah, you pitched it. This thing converted like a rock star. I don't know what you said, but they, these people loved it. He's all like, so you need to play this thing again. Because remember, there's, there's another 150 people that didn't show up. So give them an opportunity to see the pitch and see if they'll buy. And other people that even watch today, because you're talking about some pretty advanced stuff, they may need to watch again. And I was just like, really? And it was just like, yeah. So, so we did this little trick and go to webinar at that time, where even if the webinar was over, um, go to webinar at that time. Um, it's called um, it's called rolling the webinar. You're able able to add well, add dates after it. The the event was done. So that's what we did. We added a date for it was on a Thursday, and then we added a Friday at the same time, and we added that uh, we added that on. Um, on the GoTo webinar, okay? And luckily enough, the videotape was recorded. So on Friday, right, played the videotape. He, he played it for me, right? So it cost him money, but he did it for me. And uh, boom, instantly, right? I'm sitting there, I'm waiting for the, and then I remember what time the, the call to action link comes up, right? So I'm on the computer, right? I'm logged in on the GoTo webinar myself, answering questions, right? People on there are thinking that it's live probably. Um, even though we tell them, hey, it's an encore, right? Um, but people, you know, maybe not know what the meaning encore is, okay? And um, we're there, it's recording, and we go to the close, and then again, emails. Boop, you made a sale. Boop, you made a sale. Boop, you made a sale. And then we did another, uh, I want to say like another like six grand or something like that. Okay. And then I'm just like, oh my gosh, we already hit the goal, 10,000. I was like, oh my gosh. All right. Um, but the crazy part was at that time, we had like another hundred people who showed up. Right. So again, William hits me up again. He says, hey, Jeff, man. He's all like, hey, Jeff. Uh, hey, Jeff, man. He's all like, this thing is still rocking. You need to play this stuff one more time. And this is where I probably fucked up. And this is why... This is why sometimes don't think, just do, right? And that, that's why, right? Velocity is greater than meditation, right? I started to meditating in my brain. Like I started thinking, I'm just like, oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh, we already did. I don't want to, I don't want to beat up the list. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to annoy people with another, hey, hey, come check out this uh, final encore, right? Because he recommended that I play it on a Saturday or Sunday, all right? And play it again on Monday. And I said, hey, you know what? Let's give them a little bit of break and we'll just play it on Monday. Right. Thinking that it's not going to sell too much because I was just like, man, like we already did like over over like 10 grand. Right. Like I was just like, hey, I hit my goal. OK. So then Monday comes along and, and again, plays the same exact tape. Right. And then like additional like three or four grand comes in. But the total amount that we collected what ended up being like over 15 grand. Right. And we made payroll. And and that was the biggest rush I probably had outside of like doing my like first real estate deal or something like that. All right, um, because the sheer fact of of one, it, it it was it was one of those things of internet marketing that I studied for a long time, but I never made like that kind of money in a consolidated period of time. And until you do it, you don't really know it, 
right? Like, like you see other people like, oh yeah, on, on the internet, people have made 50 grand in 24 hours. Oh yeah, people have made 100 grand in X amount of days. Oh yeah, people make, you know, a quarter of a million dollars a month on the internet. Oh, a million dollars on the internet, right? And, to, and if you have never done it, those numbers become really kind of like, and hard to, hard to really fathom, right? Like I have friends of mine who, who do actually make a quarter of a million dollars uh, on the internet, um, actually make a million dollars in terms of revenue on the internet and their take on is like quarter of a million dollars and stuff like that, right? So I have friends like that, right? Um, but until you do it, it's really hard uh, to understand that. And not only that, but if you don't understand the amount of energy and the amount of work it took to uh, create that. And, and the biggest thing was this, is that why did these people convert? Because the people who bought it, right? The webinar when we ran it, he was, my buddy was so, so shocked because it converted to almost close to like 30%. Like it was just obnoxiously high conversion on it. So he was just like, dude, I don't get it, man. He's all like, I watched the thing and, and I was more confused than I started. And he's all like, and I'm not an idiot, but you said something or hypnotically or otherwise they just love you. I get it now on why they bought versus then I was just like, I don't know. I thought I was good, you know? Like, like, like I just thought I was just a really good sales guy. But really the reason why they bought is because years and years prior to that right um i've been emailing them a lot of great content right to my list meaning that i've been giving them tools i was teaching them on deals that i was doing and literally i was i was uh, coaching a lot of those people and that's why some of the people even today that's been on my email list they've been on my email list since like 2008 right like for a long time and there was a tremendous amount of goodwill with the list that i had and that's why when i came out with the quote unquote course they were just like you know what hey let me just give this guy money you know that, that kind of deal and uh, uh and then since then the people who bought that course right we've created probably uh um, we created the most baddest wholesalers in Los Angeles because a lot of the people that bought were local people in Los Angeles and still to this day have great relationships to, with them. If you do goodwill, if you build it, right, and you do it the right way, all right, there, there's going to be tremendous amount of, of ways to make money. And it's not just a, from a guy that's in the real estate space saying, hey, there's money to just be made in real estate. There's money to be made in internet. There's a money to be all kinds of stuff. So that's what I got for you. I got to go with. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it. Share it with people. Like, comment, and I will uh, talk to you then.